Using DeliverPoint, we can navigate to the main DeliverPoint page and perform batch operations such as copy, transfer, delete, and grant permissions. Using SharePoint out of the box, you can also grant permissions to people or remove permissions, but it can be a lengthy process if you've got thousands of items or sites that you want to remove a user from or grant permissions to. So using DeliverPoint, we can select things like entire web applications, or we can select entire site collections, or even multiple sites that we want to be included within a given scope. So I can choose here multiple team sites, or select the entire site collection, and notice that the operations, the account management buttons come to life. So one of the things I might want to do, perhaps let's say somebody is going to be joining the sales team, and working alongside some existing members, we can simply copy permissions from an existing member to the new starter. So in this particular case, we can enter, for example, Brett as the copy permissions from account, and this can include any users, domain groups, or also SharePoint groups, and then who we want to copy the permissions to. So in this case, we will enter Andy. So we can select Andy as the target account. We can choose when we want the operation to run and we've also got some operation options at the bottom here as well which will include things like any alerts that they've been configuring and any subsites, lists, folders and also support rollback as well. So should we uh, decide that we didn't want to do this afterwards or we perform this operation by mistake we can always roll back the permission changes to how they were in the first place. So we can select next and that will allow me to review the operation that I'm going to perform before clicking on to OK. And then we can navigate to the job status either by clicking the hyperlink here, or we can also get to the job status from the ribbon at the top. So we'll click the hyperlink and we can see the status for that job. Now the job will take about five minutes to run. So we'll go and have a look at some other operations whilst we wait, but notice some of the history here as well we can see that um, we've done some transfer operations we've done some copy operations and also some delete operations as well and the summary report will show us the type of action the description of the job the scope that it was triggered at the status who it was initiated by and when it was completed if we want to see that job in more detail we can click the drop down arrow for the job id and choose view job and that will allow us to see every single site, list, library or item that was affected by the operation. And if we want to roll that operation back, then we can simply click onto the rollback link for any job. And that will perform the rollback undoing the changes that were carried out using this operation. So as well as performing a copy, we could also perform a transfer and the difference would be maybe somebody's going to be leaving the organization or changing department. So we want to transfer what permissions they did have to another user within inside our environment. And the operation is very, very similar. We choose the transfer permissions from and the transfer permissions to before choosing next and finish. Now we can also grant permissions as well. We can click on to grant permissions and the difference here is it will allow us to do this in bulk. So here we can simply go through and enter a user account. We can choose what SharePoint groups we want to add that user account to and we can also choose what permission level we want to grant to that user. An option that we have further on down the page is to also specify a duration. So if we had a user that is going to be a temporary user, or maybe we want to give them elevated privileges for a particular operation that we want them to perform, such as giving them full control to make some permission changes, then we can do that for a limited period of time. So if we wanted to set this up for, say, a month, we can enter the time in minutes, click on to next, and then click on to OK, and that will go through and assign those permissions in bulk to every site within inside that site collection, um, but it would also allow us to um, or it will automatically revoke those permissions as well after a month has passed. 
Another operation that we uh, may want to perform is a revoke permissions. So using uh, again the tree view to be able to select a different site or site collection we can go to revoke permissions and we can specify the user that we want to revoke the permissions from and we can choose what permission level or what group we want to remove that user from so uh, if we want to make sure that any full control permissions are removed from Andy then we can basically select that and choose next and that will revoke those permissions now that is very different to delete permissions uh, because all we're doing there is uh, removing or revoking a specific permission level. We could also do a delete permission option which would remove all of the permissions from a given account. So now that we've waited uh, for a period of time we can navigate back to the job status and let's hit refresh and what we should see is those jobs starting to complete. So all of those jobs have now completed and once again we can hit the drop down, view the job or we can also initiate the rollback to put it back to how it was. Okay so we've used DeliverPoint to perform a copy operation, a transfer operation, delete permissions or grant permissions in bulk.